week, KGW launched a new true crime podcast called Should Be Alive. It examines the 2019 murder of a Vancouver teenager named Nikki Kuhnhausen, who was killed for being transgender. Episode one is available right now wherever you listen to podcasts. And even though it was not used in this particular case, the murder sparked a bill in Washington state that bans a legal defense strategy that might be considered in similar cases. It's called Nikki's Law, and it bans what's called the panic defense. Ashley Korsland has a look at how it will impact future court cases. 17-year-old Nikki Kuhnhausen was murdered in June of 2019 by a man she had just met hours earlier. Investigators say during a sexual encounter, 25-year-old David Bogdanov discovered Nikki was transgender and strangled her to death with a cell phone charging cord. And bottom line, you do feel he killed Nikki because she was trans? Yes. Absolutely. David claimed that Nikki attacked him and reached for his gun during a struggle and that he had no choice but to strangle her. But a jury convicted David for the murder and he was sentenced to nearly 20 years in prison. sentence at the top end of the range. Nikki's death inspired loved ones and advocates to push for a change in state law. It should not be a legal justification for violence. They introduced legislation called the Nikki Kuhnhausen Act that bans the so-called gay or trans panic defense in Washington. What this bill does, it removes a possible defense for the kind of thing that happened to Nikki. According to the LGBTQ plus Bar Association, the panic defense is a legal strategy that asks a jury to find a victim's sexual orientation or gender identity to blame for a defendant's violent reaction, including murder. A defendant claims that it not only explains, but excuses a loss of self-control and the subsequent attack. David Bogdanov didn't use this defense. He claimed self-defense, but Nikki's family wanted to make sure no defendant could ever use the panic defense moving forward. I'm happy to sign this bill. The Washington legislature agreed, overwhelmingly passing Nikki's law, and Governor Jay Inslee signed it into law. It certainly is a statement by the legislature and a good one that this kind of defense is not going to be tolerated and it's not a thing that exists here. So it's important to have it on the books. The LGBTQ plus panic defense has been banned in 16 states plus the District of Columbia and has been introduced but not passed in 12 other states. What message do you hope this sends? Well, the message is that they're not alone, um, that they're, they need to reach out uh, for to positive people that understand and will be there for them. There are allies out there, people who care, who are trying to change that world. A reminder, episode one of Should Be Alive is available now wherever you listen to podcasts. Each week we'll release a new episode. There are six total. We also have photos, videos, and much more information about the case. You can check it out at kgw.com slash shouldbealive.